name is Mario and I'm 35 years old. Um, yeah, I was, uh, I was born with uh, a disability and that disability is uh, spina bifida. Um, yeah, the, the way it sort of um, impacted my life the most is uh, through my mobility and um, yeah, from the beginning, I for about 20 years, I was walking independently and then from there, um, yeah, had to go onto a wheelchair and that's the way my life's been, but I'm very lucky. I've got a great, a great support base, whether it's family, I've got some great friends as well who are always there with me and have a great time. Having people around you who you know are going to be positive is something that I've certainly adopted. Mars, we've been friends for quite a while. When we first met, you were in a band playing at Coburg Town Hall. Tell us about your love of music. Yeah, well, my school at the time like it was a very music based school and um, I had um, started playing the piano and uh, yeah from there we kept on being friends with some um, friends from high school and we started a band. Yeah it was great fun. And you get to go to a lot of gigs? Uh, yeah well definitely especially if we see um, my wife and I see that an artist is coming out that we really want to go and see, yep, we'll do everything we can to go. And um, yeah, that includes Elton John at the end of the year. <laughs> You've got so many signed uh, albums and in, in the house. What is your favourite album? Oh, well, my favourite album of all time, Con, is this. It's a classic to a lot of people. This, it's uh, Pet Sounds by the Be uh, uh, the Beach Boys, who are my favourite band of all time. Tell us a little bit more about Catherine. Well, Catherine is the love of my life, and in 2013 we were married after, yeah, we first got together in 2005. She's everything to me, she's my rock, and yeah, without her I don't know where I'd be. What are some of your other loves? My mum is my everything. I'd do anything for my mum. She's she's been there with me. She's been well. I've had up to 32 operations in uh, as a 35 year old, and my mum always slept next to me just to make sure that I could get through uh, the hard times. Just to call me a mummy's boy would be a fair thing to do. <laughs> no documentary about you would be complete without mentioning Collingwood. Well, mate, you know me very well. Um, I live and breathe for, for, my, for my football team. I, um, my family came to Australia in 1971 and uh, Abbotsford was where they were. And when I was, when I was born, I was a Collingwood supporter from then. <laughs> Tell us about being a childhood celebrity, Mario. <laughs> what do you make of this? Yeah, well, this, this was one of the most exciting moments of my life, to be honest. Uh, it was 1994, I was in grade five and uh, I got asked to audition for a children's television show. And the thing I really, I really loved about it is my character was a character who was in a wheelchair. So it certainly was very inclusive and it was just an amazing period of my life. Where have you travelled to, Mario, and uh, what's next on the list? Um, to the UK, um, and also gone to Germany, and Japan twice, and that was based on the fact that my wife and I absolutely love it, and New Zealand quite a few times as well. And I'd say our next step, and we've, been, we've, we've spoken about it, is Canada. What are some future goals that you have? doing a course in um, sports, maybe sports administration or something like that. What kind of a world would you like to live in? I'd like to think that people can respect everyone else on the planet, in the universe. What equality can do and bring people together, we're almost there to a perfect world.